Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and this video is about assets and bases. In today's video, I will show you how you can calculate the pH of a weak base. But before starting this video, I would like to remind you of the outline of this chapter where I will be talking about five different topics, so please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. Now to find the pH of a weak base, it's very similar to finding the pH of a weak acid. We will also need to follow 11 steps. I will walk you through each and every step. Before that, let's read the question. The question says, calculate the pH of a 0.20 molar solution of ethylamine solution where the Kb is given as 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 4. So step 1, we have to write the major species in solution. Now, ethylamine is a weak base, so therefore it will not react completely with water, and the major species is going to be the base itself. And we have also water. In step 2, we have to write the equilibriums happening in water. And now we have the reaction of ethylamine with water that will give C2H5 and H3 plus plus the OH minus. Now the C2H5 and H3 plus is the conjugate acid of the ethylamine, which is a base. And also we have the autoionization equilibrium of water. Now we have the Kb, which is equal to 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 4, and the Kw, which is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 14. In step 3, we have to decide which equilibrium will be determining the pH. Now looking at the values of the Kb and Kw, we can see that Kb is way higher than Kw, and therefore the equilibrium of the reaction of the base with water will be the one that will determine the pH. So in step 4, we write the expression of the equilibrium constant, which is the Kb in this case, and that's equal to the product of the concentrations of C2H5 NH3 plus and OH minus, divided by the concentration of the base. In step 5, we write the initial concentrations of the ions or compounds present in the solution. So we have the initial concentration of the base, which is equal to 0 0.20 molar, and we have 0 molar for the conjugate acid and 0 molar for the OH minus, since we are neglecting the OH minus produced by the autoionization of water. In step 6, we will say, let X be the amount of the base that will react with water to reach equilibrium. In step 7, we will write the equilibrium. Now we will say, initially we had 0 0.2 molar of the base and 0 molar of the conjugate acid and 0 molar of the OH-. After X molar of the base react with water, we will have X molar of the conjugate acid produced an x molar of the OH- will be produced. Now at equilibrium, we will have 0 0.20 minus x molar of the base, x molar of the conjugate acid, which is the C2H5 and H3+, and x molar of the hydroxide. Now in step 8, we will replace the equilibrium concentrations in the expression of Kb by their values. So we will get x multiplied by x divided by 0 0.20 minus x is equal to 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 4. Now to simplify the calculation of this expression, then in step 9 we will say that since kb is small, we will assume that x is too small compared to the initial concentration of the base and therefore it will be neglected. So now we can rewrite the expression of Kb and we find x squared divided by 0 0.20 is equal to 5.6 times 10 to the power minus 4. Calculating x, we will find that x is equal to 1.1 times 10 to the power minus 2. Now before we proceed forward in determining the pH, we have to check whether our approximation is valid or not. Now, in step 10, we will use the 5% rule, which will allow us to verify our approximation. So now we divide the value of x by the initial concentration of the base. 
Now the answer is 5.5%, which is greater than 5%. Since the answer is greater than 5%, so our approximation is not valid. So in this case, we cannot neglect x. So in this case, we have to replug x in the expression of kb, and using a calculator, we can calculate x, and x in this case is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 2. So now that we have x, x is the concentration of OH minus. So in step 11, we can find the concentration of H plus. Now, how can we find the concentration of H plus from the concentration of OH minus? We know that KW is equal to the product of the concentration of H plus and concentration of OH minus. So the concentration of H plus is equal to KW divided by the concentration of OH minus, and that's equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 12. So now that we have the concentration of H plus, we can calculate the pH using the expression pH is equal to minus log of the concentration of H plus. And in this case, the pH is going to be equal to 12. I hope this video was helpful to you. So please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.